what's up guys welcome back to hmht so today has been a busy day for apple as you can see this is the apple developer website i just want to show you some of the other updates that apple released so as you can see they released mac os pixel 11.3 beta 4 i'll be doing a video on that and they also released ios and ipad os 14.5 beta 4 as you can tell this is the video for ios 14.5 beta 4 and they also released watchOS 7.4 beta 4 i'll be doing a video on that and also they released tvOS 14.5 beta 4. i have to mention that at this time all these updates that you see here today today was a busy day so all these updates are available to public beta testers and to developer beta testers so this is an update that you can update to irregardless of the profile that you have now i've already updated my device that you see here to ios 14.5 beta 4 now for me as you can see here the update size was around 316.5 megabytes and i'm actually updating from beta 3 and this is the iphone x so if you have a similar device then you can expect the same update size around 300 mbs or if you have a different device and are coming from a different version of ios 14 let's say for example 14.4.2 then your update size will slightly be larger than this now let's look at the software changes that came with this update so if we go into the settings and then go to general and go to the about this iphone section you can see the new build number that we have here and it's 18e5178a so we now have an a at the end and before we had an h at the end which goes to show that this is a big jump from beta 3 to beta 4 in terms of stability in fact, if we're to say it in terms of steps, this beta 4 is seven steps ahead of beta 3, which is a significant jump. And then if we go to see the modern firmware version, you can see it here and it's 4.03.05. The modern firmware on this iPhone has not changed. And if you have a similar device, don't expect to see a modern firmware change. Now, if we go to see the software, I mean, the space taken up by this update if we go to iphone storage here it takes a moment to load on beta 3 i had an issue whereby it was taking forever to load so if you look at my beta 3 video that i did about two weeks ago you see that i didn't show iphone storage so as you can see here the storage being taken up by this os is 6.79 gig and that's exactly how much it was taken on beta 3 i had to wait after recording my beta 3 video in order to see this so no change from beta 3 to beta 4 so it's not taking an abnormal amount of storage which is a good thing now when it comes to the new features and changes that came with this update let me show you the first one that i have to highlight so when you put on your apple watch for the first time without inputting the passcode on the apple watch you just put it on when it's locked and you unlock your iphone for the first time in the morning you will see a prompt like this or a pop-up that looks like this benjamin's apple watch unlocked or your apple watch has been unlocked by this iphone so that's the new animation that you see and it only comes up in the morning it shows up once a day and basically that's how it looks it's very hard to record it when it pops up initially since you know you have to unlock your iphone in order for you to do a screen recording but i got the last moments of it keep an eye on it in the morning when you put on your apple watch just remember don't unlock your apple watch by inputting a passcode on your apple watch just unlock your iphone and you see this pop up as long as you're wearing your apple watch that's what it says and it's good to see that they've added this another change that i have to mention that came with this update has to do with airdrop so airdrop is now working as it's supposed to now before there were issues when it came to airdrop whereby you would try to send a file either to another device be it a mac or an iphone and sometimes it will only go halfway sometimes it will drop connection but this time around they fixed airdrop now Another thing that changed if we go into the settings and go to the software update page. So they did do some changes there. So if you go to software update right there 
and go to automatic updates and turn on download new updates so if we turn this on you will see that we have install security updates so this is something that was new and it wasn't there before so it's good to see that apple is thinking of security and you can actually install security updates and if you click it on or turn it on like this it basically means that when a new software update is available it will download the new update and it will install security updates. As you can see, when I turn it off, there's nothing, but when I turn it back on, you see install security updates. So that's good. I just turn them off so that I can update manually and do a video for you. Now, that's one of the change. Another change has to do with MagSafe animation. So if you have the MagSafe charger and you put it on the back of your iPhone, it will show the MagSafe animation. It's something that wasn't there on beta three and finally on this beta, it's back now another change that i have to highlight which has actually extensively been updated with this update has to do with the apple music app so if you use the apple music app you'll be happy to know that now albums that were not showing up before so on in your library right if you had songs or playlists or albums that wouldn't have the cover art or actually not show up then those are now showing they fixed that in the apple music app and if you go to the browse section and go to a specific album let's say this one by selena gomez and go all the way down you can see that we now have the release date as march 11 2021 and it shows you the number of songs and the minutes that all these songs composed of so basically this is something that was there before and it's been removed and on mac it's actually there in the apple music app so it's something good that they've added and overall the music app has been more stable now and not only that but also the podcast app has received similar changes and upgrades another change that improved also has to do with notifications so be it instagram notifications or facebook notifications those are now working with this update i had an issue on beta 3 where my notifications wouldn't basically show up most of the time so be it a specific application all those changes are now here and also if you were getting a bug whereby Every time you restart your phone, it tells you that you have a new voicemail. I'll be happy to let you know that for me, at least from the time I've updated up to now, it's not telling me that, uh, you know, I have a new voicemail. And then when I go in, it's the same voicemails that have always been there. So that has been fixed with this update. So the last fix that I have to mention has to do with um, your signing in to your iCloud every time you basically restarted your device. So not only did they get rid of the voicemail alert or prompt, but now you no longer need to get the pop-up that would cover your entire screen telling you that you have to sign in to your uh, Apple ID or your iCloud, which is a good thing that came with this update. Now, basically, those are the changes and improvements and also a bit of a new feature in the music app that came with this iOS 14.5 beta 4. Now, let me show you my performance scores. So I did run Geekbench 5 just to see how good this update is performing. If you go to history of the CPU, you can see the scores that I had here. So this is on iOS 14.5 beta 4. You can see that for single core, I had 910. For multi core, I had 1955. You compare this to what i had on beta 3 you can see on beta 3 single core i had 918 on multi core i had 1856 these are the scores side by side beta 4 and beta 3 on single core you can see that beta 3 was better by 8 and also if you compare multi core you can see that beta 4 is actually better than beta 3 which is a good thing and basically i would say that when it comes to performance it's actually opening apps as it's supposed to the only thing that i notice is that sometimes when i go to the widget section here i had this news widget initially load up very slowly so only the top portion would load up and as you can see that it sort of expanded also again a little bit which means there was a section that uh, loaded up slightly delayed which is kind of unfortunate but other than that that's 
basically how this update is performing for me and battery wise let's see if anything changed if we go to settings and go to the battery section here go to the maximum health it's on 80 and 80 percent is the threshold so very soon i'll be looking forward to doing something about this and other than that this is how this update has been for me I'll be able to do a follow-up video if I see anything drastic or if I have a serious issue or if I come across a new features and changes that deserve a full video. Other than that, that's about it for me. If you like this video, please subscribe to HMHT and stay safe and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Peace.